Alright, so today I'm doing a, a video on taking the taking a picture of the Orion Nebula. Um, the telescope that I'm going to be using is my 80mm, which is my Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ. It's got a little bit, of, it's got a lot of dew on it, but uh, it's morning dew for you. Uh, this is my Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ, and it is um, basically on a Star Seeker 4 uh, go to mount, is what it's on, and the telescope or the uh, the um, camera is a Nikon D3100. D3 and I have the uh, camera connected to the focuser. It uses a um, T ring and a T adapter so that the T adapter goes into the focuser, which the focuser is right here where the uh, screw starts. So this here is the T adapter, and then the ring that you see is uh, basically screwed onto the T. Um, the T ring for the camera. So this is the T adapter, this bar here, and this here is the T ring. I don't know how well I can show this, if I can show it at all. I probably can't. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna um, do a 30 second ex or a 30 second exposure um, using a Nikon D3100 connected to a slash run power seeker 80 EQ uh, that is on a go to mount. Uh, so I'm able to track the uh, Orion Nebula. I'll submit pictures of the Orion Nebula that I'll be doing with this um, camera and telescope at the end of the video. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu here and show you my settings. So there you can see it's a it's a uh, 30 second exposure. What you can see is that it's um, a 1600 ISO is what I have set. Uh, this will vary for for the type of lighting that you have, the darker um, environment you are in. Um, the, or I should say the darker the sky is. Right now I have the moon out. Um, there's the moon right there for you guys to see. That's the full moon for October 18th, 2016. It's a little after 3 a.m. Alright, so I'm going to shut up now and just take the pictures that's all you care about seeing okay so here's the shutter button up here at the top I'm gonna press the shutter button with my index finger and you heard that click now we gotta wait 30 seconds and we're gonna wait for the camera to take the picture now this isn't really good to <laughs> to have my uh, my camera light on uh, so hopefully this doesn't mess up my picture I'll do a couple other pictures uh, that'll add into the picture into the video. I'll do about four pictures, um, two pictures while I am doing this video, and two after I finish the video. So that was the first picture processed. I'll go ahead and show you the picture. Uh, now, take in mind that this picture is going to look blurred and have no quality at all through the camera of my phone, uh, but it'll probably really look good. So here's the first picture of the Andromeda Galaxy, or <laughs> the Orion Nebula. Sorry, yeah, the Andromeda Galaxy. I'm, I'm possessed with the Andromeda Galaxy, but that's the Orion Nebula. So that's the first picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another picture. Hold the shutter button down. You heard that button. Shutter closed. And now we're gonna let this take the picture. And again, this is the uh, the Orion Nebula. For any of you that are curious, you can see right there the Orion Nebula. And we took the other picture. So that was the second picture that I took. And I will do two more pictures after I end this video. So I'll let you guys see the last picture here uh, that I took with the video. So there's another picture of the Orion Nebula. Kind of looks a little blurred. 
on the uh, phone here. Anyways, that's that's pretty much it. Um, have any questions for me? You can leave them in the comments below. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.